Greetings, comrades. I'm going to Caleb is back with part two of Ultra Russian Overkill episode 43. Uh, Requiem. I'm going to turn up just a little bit my headset so I can hear this awesome music. I wasn't expecting this one to have awesome music. Autumn is a 20 year old bot, isn't it? Turn the music a little bit. That sounds good. Yo, it's about time we got a uh, quad damage shells for this. to make sure. Ah! More monsters here. That's a pretty sizable map here, as far as the monster counts are concerned. We used them, don't you think? Oh. There you go. I like how you can just recollect the shells. You can use them as many times as you want. ways of getting more. League of Legends, right? Yeah. Um, as far as the game looks, I'm probably not gonna play. It's not like that I'm not a fan of MOBAs, but it's just the community, you know, they want kind of keep me from playing it, because, you know, to me, a community game makes or breaks a game for me. Get community shit, then it's not gonna be a game I'm going to enjoy. 
That's my mentality anyway. You know, if you play against other people, you want to be, you know, good natured, you know, nice people. Be able to be fun people play want to play with, and you know, we're gonna keep playing with them some more. But of course, if they're, if they're gonna keep swearing you out or you know, yell at you because you did the wrong thing or you're not playing the way you want they want you to, then what's the point of playing with them? Like I said, I'm sure some of you are the same way, but you know, a community will make or break a game. For you. you can argue with saying with Call of Duty, CSGO, even Overwatch to an extent. I still want to play Overwatch though. Oh, sweet, I can't go anywhere. Sweet, I'm trapped. Oh, I'm saying. If those meant to intentionally trap you here, then that's definitely bad level design there. But no, it wasn't. I'm liking this bot so far. That's the design elements I like, so yeah. I'm only winner in my book, but I'm only on map 6, so verdict's still early on that. Alright, we still have a ways to go. Oh, shit. Communities of certain games are part of the reasons why I don't play multiplayer games that much. Except MMOs, because, you know, you can just play your own way and ignore everybody else around you. You know, the tier of community is not too bad. Can't say the same for other MMOs, but, you know. Yeah, I got the blue keys. I know it's a blue key door, but first, let me look around a bit. Yeah, I need a red key for that. Ah, I'm not here yet. Let's see, I got some goodies down there. I mean, the pinkies can't get to me. I'm a too high for them. All soul can get me, though. But you know what? I'm going to use these bullet casings. Oh, is that what you shoot? Okay, you have to shoot that to get out. Okay. That was one of those timed things. That's one of these guys. Now that I have explosive bullets, Libra is a good weapon to use. I mean, it's a good weapon regardless, but... Compared to the other machine gun, that's kind of weak. But once you get the uh, explosive bullets, then it's actually a competent weapon. Keep in mind, you still have this shield, which is useless and brutal doom. Get a little, get this little healing field that also speeds you up. And cool things, you don't even need bullet casings to use a speed up thing. 
Of course, you have these uh, plasma weapons. Very versatile weapons. Still one of my favorites. Rush over. But even that cannot top the mass murderer that is Schwarzer's work. Talking about shells and Inspector Libra. Our okay, heads are stuck in the ceiling. See Cacodemons. There is another, uh, MOBA that I completely forgot about. It's called Strife. Not to be confused, it's the first person shooter Strife. But the MOBA's name is Strife. And uh, when I got back when I got my 750 Ti, it came with a few codes for uh, War Thunder, Strife, and uh, the now defunct uh, Infinity Crisis. Infinite Crisis. That DC MOBA. That once was, but now it's no war. Alright. I don't know how you pronounce that name. Wait! Oh! I see now, I see now, I see now. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Read it backwards. Oh, okay, okay. That's very clever. <laughs> I don't see how that, that relates to that, but hey. <laughs> Hell's Gift. Forget the apostrophe. Okay, new. Given, okay, they could have at least changed the interludes, but okay. It's got dead simple style. Well, it's supposed to be dead simple, but it doesn't quite look bad. The number of enemies is small, though, so. We'll, we'll see how it goes. If there's no Mancubi or Arachnotrons, then it's not the death center inspired. Uh, excuse me. Thing is gonna die either way. You know what I should do? Um, my Yeti. I should buy some bottles of Virgil's and, uh... One of them Sprecher. Yeah, put some ice in the Yeti, pour them in, and there you go. Maybe Bundaberg, but I don't, know. I don't like Bundaberg as much as Virgil's or uh, even Sprecher. There is this other brand, but it's like really expensive. It's like almost nine bucks for a four pack. Okay, open the blue ones. Just so you get the a red one. I open the red ones. I'm just gonna pop one in there. I might get another Yeti for work, but it's gonna be a bigger one. I'll admit that large uh, 64 ounce one is kind of overkill. I don't even drink all of it most of the time. Oh. more over here? Nope. It's just that side. Okay, we got a square arena. Sort of. I heard a mancubi. Mancubus, I mean. Yep, there they are. Now we just interact with Trons. to be a dead simple style map. Okay, uh, it has to have a square arena. It doesn't have to be the whole map, but you know, square arena is It needs to have Mancubi, and it needs to have Arachnotrons, and it has all three, so yeah, dead simple inspired map. Even though it's not quite the same arena, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. There you are. Is this 
more about blast them. Blow up my Shika. Yeah, I mentioned before that I removed YouTube from my, uh, phone because, uh, A, I have a tablet so I can watch YouTube on there now, not to mention my laptop and, of course, my computer, and B, the Wi-Fi the store I work at is ass now. Like, I don't know what they did, but now I just will not connect, my phone will not connect to the Wi-Fi network. I don't know why, but it won't. So, but you know what, screw it. I'm just going to remove YouTube. I just downloaded a bunch of shmups on my, uh, phone. Um, when I played a lot on the, uh, back when I had an iPod, as a Lightning Fighters 2, Lightning Fighter 2, it's sort of a Raiden-style Raiden ripoff, but it was a fun game, it had a selection of ships with different attacks and stuff. Oh, different sign on that door there. The reactor by Ilka Kavanin. Is he Swedish or Norwegian? Maybe Finnish, I don't know. Okay, we got a receptionist over there. It's like... Well, I'm in a prison cell. I think it's time we got out of here, don't you think? These demons aren't going to kill themselves. That button. There we go. How did I wind up in jail? Oh. For no reason, there's hell to pay now. And, uh, there's something else I want to talk about. I make tons of screenshots, right? Maybe for Gary's mod, Skyrim, Fallout 4. And... Now, why don't I get the recognition I feel they deserve? You know... When it comes to getting noticed, you know, Steam and DeviantArt, where I also put my work on, they're both fickle beasts when it comes to getting your... your work out there, you know? Some screenshot makers... Ship that off. You know, some screenshot makers... Just don't make it. You know, you could spend hours and hours making one screenshot, putting a lot of detail and stuff in it, and I'll probably only get like six or seven likes of that. Whereas another person can make a screenshot of a heavy making a stupid face, and I'll get like 200 likes. So, yeah, Steam and Deviant are both fickle beasts, but all I can say to up and coming screenshot makers, you know, if, you, if it's something you enjoy doing, then keep doing it. You know, don't give up. You know, I try to let likes, you know, sway me from uh, making, keep from continuing to make them. But you know, if it's something you enjoy doing, just keep doing it. One day, you'll make that screenshot that hits triple-digit likes. You never know. You know, just keep trying. You know, never give up. Heck, even if you don't get likes, just if, if you enjoy doing it, you know, I make screenshots, you know, because they're fun to do, you know, they're relaxing, stress relieving, and of course, fun. You know, the likes, you know, they encourage me more, you know. You know, it makes me feel good knowing there's people out there that enjoy my work. I make like several different kinds of screenshots, you know, people, uh, no, I mean, there's uh, some screenshots some people like and some don't like, you know, that's just how it is. There's never going to be a screenshot that's going to please every single person out there. Everyone has different tastes. Nice little elevator thing here. 
yeah, if you enjoy doing it, just continue doing it, you know. Don't give up, you know. If you enjoy making screenshots, then just go for it. I enjoy them, and so I do take breaks every now and then. Because even I get burned out sometimes, you know. You try to, you know, rest up, think about, think of new ideas and stuff like that. So you just... Basically, try not to let the number of likes dissuade you from uh, doing what you enjoy doing. You know, if you enjoy doing it and it makes you happy doing it, that's what matters. Unless what you're doing is illegal, in which case you should probably stop doing it. I see something in there. Oh, no, it's a long, long slog. Okay, it's a puzzle wall, so I have to go back down. That's all I can do here. I'm not too sure. Oh, different area. Another rather sizable map. here just yet. That real quick. Alright. So what's this map called again? Is that the sky? Oh yeah, it's the sky. Oh, Lord again. Oh, okay, okay, I see what I was supposed to do now. Okay. Okay, time to use another weapon. Backpack! Okay. Let me just uh, heal up. Give myself some more health. Map, not like the map I normally play. What did he die? I 
there's something else I need to do here. Oh, Revenant, where'd he come from? Ah, I'm going here yet. Wait, I have. Alright. I'll find out a secret. But that's not why I'm here. Yes, yeah, still. Quite a few things to kill here. Okay. Oh. Switch. Origin this leads to the exit. Spooky. Of course, it's going to be traps. I'm stuck. Let me get out of here. There we go. Oh yeah, that one gate thing. In here. Ah, now we have more powerful explosives. Somebody survived the barrels. this up while we ascend. Guess I'm for the last uh, we have five monsters. I think they're going to enjoy this. Just one? I was expecting a larger room, but okay. Oh, there you are. Fuck, day. Eh? Well, let's do this. Nice little touch. Deep Down Below by Matthias Warch. And I'm actually going to end the video here. Kind of a short one compared to my other videos. But, uh, don't worry. I have tomorrow off too, so I'll have two more videos up by then. So anyway, this is part two of Requiem, Brutal Russian Overkill, episode 43. And this is Evan Given Caleb signing out.